Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So how's everybody doing? Stay, staying well, I hope. I'm getting all smashed up in here. All right, so um, I hope everybody's doing well. So today I'm, I'm gonna show you some mystery boxes that I got from, from Lion Brand. You know, if you follow me, I love, love a good mystery box of yarn. I buy them when I see them. Some are duds. Um, I'm still searching for the best mystery box ever, but <laughs> but I found quite a few good ones in my day. So Lion Brand had some mystery boxes. I'm not sure if they still do. You have to go look on their website. I ordered this about a week ago, I think, and um, they had uh, where you could choose what weight you wanted. Whether it was they had four weight, five weight, and six weight, and then they had a like loop a uh, loop it mystery box that loop it yarn stuff. And then it said each box contained nine balls of mystery yarn. And it said if you bought more than one, it could possibly contain the same yarn. You know me. Well, I bought two four-weight boxes and two five-weight boxes. And I'm assuming that they're both going to... Or the, I'm assuming that the four-weights are going to be the same yarn. And the five-weights are going to be the same yarn. Since they said it. But, I'm holding out. Holding out. Just maybe. Just maybe. They might be different. You know, well, you don't know unless you try, right? <laughs> so, I got the box today, and let's see what's in them. Pretty excited. Um, first off, though, I do want to say I do not have a tutorial for this hat. This hat is knitted, and it was gifted to me by my good, my, my good friend Gary from Urban Yarns. Now, if you check out Gary's er, uh, channel, Urban Yarn. Make sure you subscribe. He's awesome. He's one of my favorite YouTube channels. He has a knitted pattern for this hat. Hi, Gary, if you're watching. Remember, head on over there. You won't be disappointed. Gary's awesome. All right, here we go. What is it? What is it? All right. Yeah, two five weights. Oh my gosh, it's this big, huge box. <clears throat> I'm going to use it for a giveaway. Look at this. Oh, I just broke my nail off doing it. All right. Look at this big, huge box that came in the mail. And inside of it is four tiny boxes of mysteries. Look, I'm going to use this box for a giveaway. Yes. My next giveaway. Then I'm going to use that box. I like to keep my boxes. Well, I actually have one giveaway already ready for my next giveaway. Maybe I'll use this in the one after. I don't know. But I'll use it for a giveaway. I like to get big boxes. <laughs> and use it for giveaways. Okay, enough. I'll quit talking. So what we got here. So this is how they come individually. Which one is this one? I don't know. Let's open it and see if it's a four weight or a five weight. It just says mystery box on the tape. How exciting this is. Super exciting. I actually seen some other people's mystery boxes. Well, they had the Santa sacks again. I didn't get any of those. Um, I don't know why. But I seen some people Santa sacks and they were pretty cool. And then I seen they had these last week and I'm like, well, I'll try to try these out. Let's see. So this is the four weight box. No, um, I think. Yeah, so it looks to be appear to be a four weight box. Okay. So I got three bag or three bags of Vanish Choice. Um, in the color lemon pepper, so I like that. It is a four weight yarn, or three three balls of it in there. Um, it's just a four weight acrylic yarn. Vanish Choice isn't, isn't bad yarn, so three of those in here. Ooh, Basic Stitch Premium. I do like their Basic Stitch a lot. I think that's one of their best uh, value that that uh, Lion Brand has to offer as far as. Uh, value uh, yarns go. I like the basic stitch and I love that collar. I don't even have this collar. Gold mine. Cool. I like that one. Pretty. So I've had this, used it many a times, got plenty of tutorials using it, just not this color. But I do like that. And then I got three. Oh, this is their um, ice cream cotton blend, which I do have some here. I don't have this color though. It's a nice uh, cotton acrylic blend. It's 47 cotton, 53 acrylic. It's a medium weight number four. Um, the color I got is called, 
what is it called? I don't know. Strawberry. Okay, so yes, I don't have this color here, but I do have it in other colors. A couple other colors. Isn't that pretty? So the that was $19.99 for the four weight box. So I got that for $19.99, which is a all right deal, if you ask me. It's probably saved a little money versus paying for it um on the rig, rigging the price. All right, let's go. Here's another one. This could be the same. This could be a four weight and have the exact same thing in it. Oh, sorry. More than likely, it probably does. I do have a pattern for that shawl back there on my channel. If you look at that, you'll be able to find it. I put it on last week, I think. All right. I hope you guys are getting all my tutorials. I've been busting them out lately. If you don't, make sure you have your notifications turned on. But I know that a lot of people don't watch my tutorials. Only because you don't crochet, you like to look at yarn. And that's cool, man, because I like to look at yarn, too. And I like to talk about yarn. <laughs> so I make those videos, too. Okay, this is a four-way, and it is the same. So I expected that because they said in the box that it could possibly be the same. So I, it's not a surprise to me. So I got the exact same thing, which is fine, too. Um, different's good, and the same's good. So now I have six balls of this basic stitch, which gives me enough. I really like the basic stitch a lot. It's probably my favorite of the box. Because um, I love this color. It's very neutral too. You could use it for a lot of things. What's the yardage? 219 yards per ball. So I got, you know, over 1,200 yards. Here. That would be enough for me to make anything that I wanted to make. As far as um, if I wanted to make a poncho or a big shawl or a, even a sweater. Um, as long as I don't use too many cables or anything, you know, I could, that would be doable for me. Um, that's enough yardage for me. As long as I use, tend to, you know, using more of the, not the yarn eating stitches. Like it. And I got the same color of the Vanna's Choice, which is a very beautiful color. I do like it. So yardage on these. 170. So six out of 170. Do something with that. Or some, you know, some of this will go in giveaways also because I can't keep it all. <laughs> I can't keep it all. I like these little boxes. Can use those for mini giveaways. Yeah, mini giveaways. Tell me if you like that idea in the comments. You know, I like. Someone asked me the other day why I buy yarn and just to give it away, and I said because I like to and it's fun. That was my answer. That's the only answer I have because <laughs> I like it and it's fun. I like to teach people about the yarn, but. I also like to give back to my yarn community, so that's why I do it. So I love my YouTube family, and I want to show them that. Okay, so and then I got what's the yardage on here? 225. So I got uh, six balls of that again, which was funny for me to do whatever I want to do with or put it in a giveaway. This stuff's pretty. I did a review on it one time. I think I have it here in a blue and a rainbow, but my daughter would like that pink. All right, so these must be the bulky fives bulky five is my favorite weight of yarn to work with um you know i seen um sorry if i'm talking too much on my uh facebook page i have a one i have a facebook page that's set up for people to show yarn hauls and they were showing their um Santa stacks they got from Lion Brand. And I noticed a lot of people got make their Mako cotton. I love Lion Brand's Mako cotton. I'm kind of hoping I get some. I probably won't. I can't even remember if it's four weight or five weight. I have some on my shelf. But I only have it in one color. Um, but it's, I was, I've seen that and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. They got that Mako cotton. I did actually order six weights too. But they're not here yet. <laughs> Just to, see, just to see the variety they put in it, like I said, it's just, I like to do that. Okay, so I got some, I didn't get no Mako cotton. That's okay, that's okay. I got some um, Rewind Tape yarn, which is cool because I made an awesome sun hat out of this uh, tape yarn. You should check it out on my channel. Um, and I put a wire rim on it. It's actually sitting right over there. Um, there's so much stuff around me. I would get up and show you. But um, 
it's really nice and actually I was thinking about getting some more to make a bag out of and since I have some right now and more than likely the other box is exactly the same I'll have enough it's gonna be a little bit busy because I would have picked a solid myself but this one is still really pretty if you haven't tried their tape yarn it's a flat tape yarn but it's got like a microfiber feel so um, it definitely I think works well for hats like if you want to put a brim on it I did wire mine but it stood pretty good without a uh, wire on it um, and bags and stuff like that a lady on here has some type of top on I'm sure it's soft it just pro I probably personally wouldn't make a top with it but that's just my personal preference I think it would work good as far as garments just like a hat like a brimmed hat other than that accessories and stuff but that's just me I mean you make whatever you want out of it so I got three of those Twisted cotton. I did a review on this too. I've had this before. No, I don't have any of this now. I gave it away in giveaways. Um, but it's a cotton acrylic blend, if I remember right. Five weight. Uh, yeah, 69 cotton, 31 acrylic. There was only 98 yards per ball in this, I remember. But the color here is called coral, which is very pretty. The color on this one, uh, rewind is called valerian very pretty huh. i like the name on that one it's neat so in this this was an okay for me uh when i reviewed it it wasn't the worst yarn i've ever had um it's kind of got some bumps in it so it made it not a little bit i have to think about that okay and then i got some homespun believe it or not i actually am not a fan of homespun I'm not. I do have projects making, and actually I have a very pretty women's coat that I made with homespun a while ago. It's an old video, but I mean it lacks quality, but it's still there. And I was actually thinking about redoing that in homespun again. And this couldn't be more perfect because brown is my favorite color. So I might do that if I get enough yardage here. This one's called Mango Chutney. That's the name of it, or the color of it. And it is... I always thought that uh, Homespun was a bulky six, super bulky six, but I guess not. I guess not. It's a five weight. That's all right. I like it. It's very beautiful. So I have 185 yards and there's three of them there. Well, that's not going to do it for my jacket, but I love that color of the Homespun, that neutral color. And even though I'm not a fan of Homespun, I've been wanting to get it, like I said, to either redo that coat or make something different in it because I haven't used it in for so long. I'll probably keep that because I don't even know if I've ever... I haven't looked at homespun in so long. I didn't even know they made it brown. <laughs> or not that color of brown. Okay. I'm assuming that this one's going to be the same. I'm almost certain. But like I said, that's okay. It gives me more to, gives me more to work with. Yes, it is. It's the same. Okay. So, here's what I got again. The same thing in, in my bulky five, which is fine. So, I'll have to put some of this in my giveaways. I will probably keep a pack of this because I will uh, want to make a bag out of it. I'm going to keep both these home sponges and get some more of it to redo the project that I want to redo. An old video. Or make something new with it, which is with what I have. These I probably won't keep. I like the mini giveaway boxes. I'm going to keep those too. Um, but anyways, yeah, everything's cool. I'm happy with it. Oh, I must mention the four weight. I did tell you the four weights were $19.99, but the bulky weights were $24.99 for the nine balls. Um, so I don't know what each ball runs individually, but I'm certain that it was, it was worth what they, it was cheaper than than the original price so yeah i'm happy with everything that i got i am i like it all can't keep it all but i like it all <laughs> but some of it i will so thanks everybody for watching i hope i didn't talk your head off and i'll see you guys on my next video you know i love talking yarn with you i don't know what my next video will be yeah i do but uh, i'll see you then okay bye guys take care okay <laughs>